What's up guys? It's Kay Jones coming at you with Adventures of an Iron Woman episode 40 coming up here on 97 Herb Lore. Uh, I still have that construction grind uh, going for me. I just wanted to take a break and get another level. Uh, hopefully I'll get 99 Herb Lore soon. Here's 97. I can make divine super combat potions. Very nice. So here we go. <music> Alright guys, I'm coming up on 92 agility. Um, I'm also going to start to alk all those alk bulls in my bank. If you know, I have like a ruined item collect collection. I'm going to alk that to get the money for construction. So here we are, 92 agility. Very nice. It's going to be really hard. I already start filling my inventory with some ruined pickaxes. And it's going to be hard to alk all that kind of stuff. But I just need to do it and get the money in get the levels on 99 construction but if you see all my previous videos I show kind of like my bank and my alcohols and everything and how it's stuff that I've collected since the beginning of Iron Man and how it was going to be kind of difficult for me so but yeah I'm gonna do it I decided so anyway 92 agility boom shaka laka laka Alright, as you can see, this is everything I will be alking. It's roughly 48, 49 mil, probably a little bit less because I'll be alking it, not selling it on the Grand Exchange because I'm an Iron Man. Um, so goodbye, beautiful stacks of sexiness. But it's okay because I'll get it back. So no worries, but looks nice and now we're going to get going on alking it. All right, so I out the majority of my alkables. I know, so sad, but I got 46 mil. I need about 35 mil for nine in construction, so I'm totally good. 35 mil for the planks, and then probably another 10 mil or so like I have for paying the butler and stuff like that. So let's get on that nine in construction, guys. All right, guys, so I'm on that PVP world using the Cath or Camelot bank. I have this on my construction guide and how I do construction, but I thought I would just show you all it in the action. It's not too bad. I have my servant take my logs to the sawmill, etc. You can also have noted logs on your inventory and just use them on the chest, but I just prefer this way. I'm almost done. I need 69,500 teak planks and I'm almost to that. I got 100k construction and XP from some long bones and curved bones, so that was pretty great. But as you can see here, I'm at 69,233, so I need about 300 more to go, and then I'll have all the teaks I need for 99 construction. Pretty great. Alright guys, I got 69,500 teak planks, so basically 70,000. And 300 mahogany planks. I uh, really don't think I'll need those, but just in case. I have 10 mil left, so I can use that to pay my butler and to knock out 99 construction. So I'm really looking forward to that. Let's do this. Okay, I'm about to come up on 93 construction. It will be my first level since I've started the grind. I got to 92, and then was like, eh, I need to work on some construction. And uh, was like, my next trip will be to 99 just so I can knock it out. And so, should be coming up on it. Oh god, I'm still 3k till. I thought it was a lot closer than what I was. Okay, my bad. Now I am 93 construction. I don't know, I recorded way too early. Ooh, marble adventure log. I want to make that. That's dope. But that kind of sucks because I've gotten most of all of my gear before the adventure log came out. So, eh, that stinks. But 93 construction, slowly getting to 99. Here we go. 94 construction. Very nice. I can make dragon skull torches. Hanging Dungeon Skeleton, Hellhound, and Marble Dungeon Door. Very nice. Alright, so I'm about to get 95 construction before going to bed. I was able to knock this out today, so huzzah, 95 construction. I can now build a crystal throne, a large 
Aura Re, Spirit Tree, and Fairy Ring, and a Steel Dragon. Cool. Probably won't ever make those other than maybe another Fairy Ring tree like this. I already boosted it for um, when I had the stews though, but getting closer and closer to 99. I'm coming up on uh, 96 construction, so that's pretty dope. Boom, getting closer and closer. I can now build a marble wardrobe, which I probably won't ever do that, but 97, 98, 99, getting very, very close. I'm working on 97 now, so here we go. All right, guys, we're coming up on 97 construction, a marble spiral. Cool, that's what we can make. So 97, two more levels to go. Booyah. I'm not too sure why my audio didn't work in this clip, but in this clip I got 98 construction, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea why my audio just decided to poop out on recording, but uh, this was the clip that I got 99 construction, so it was like the best clip, and I, my audio just decided not to work, and it was the worst timing ever, but I was pretty hyped. I mean, it, it took about two weeks to get, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, a week of making all those logs into planks, which I would cut all those, so that took a little longer than the two weeks I'm mentioning. And then another week uh, after work of just working on construction and getting to nine, from 92 to 99. Here I'm getting my construction cape. I love this cape now that I'm using it all the time. The teleport, it's a free teleport to your house and you can use it to teleport to any house teleport in RuneScape. So Relica, uh, Remington, anywhere. And it's just so nice. Pavalanche, you name it. So you get a lot of different locations. And the emote is sick. I mean, come on, look at that. That's so dope. So yeah, I was very happy. So I'm a little bit tilted. When I started rune crafting, I forgot a chisel for this, I guess, round. And I went all the way back to the bank and got a chisel. Turns out there's a chisel that spawns up north here. And I did not know that. So fun fact, if you forget your chisel, there's one up north that just automatically spawns. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> my What's first MVP! MVP 165 raids. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I started freaking out. Oh my god, I got one. Yes, my first MVP in TOB in 165 raids. Yay! Oh my goodness, it takes forever to get a rune crafting level. And the thing is, usually I like record me getting a level. I am not even halfway to 94 rune crafting. I'm 46% and I already feel like I should be 94 rune crafting. It is so slow, guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this level by the end of this progression video. Hopefully by the end of the weekend. Holy cow, this is crazy. Prop definitely the slowest skill. Slayer is probably just as slow, but way more interesting, that's for sure. All right, guys, coming up on 94 rune crafting. It feels like I should be getting 95 rune crafting because, oh my gosh, this takes forever. And after this, I'm going to take a break and do some agility or another skill and then come back to rune crafting. But yeah, 94, here it is. It took all week, just as expected. I finished it on Saturday night, so that's pretty good. And now I'm 825k away from 95 rune crafting. That's gonna take, oh my gosh, I don't even wanna know. That's gonna take a long time. It's about 30, 35K XP an hour or so. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break, get some agility, an agility level or so, and then come back to rune crafting. So let me check out and see how many blood runes I have. All right, guys, so I got 254,000 blood runes. I had a lot more than that, but when I started using a lot of blood runes and TOB and things like that, uh, I didn't have as much, but that's 85 million moolahs. 
and just blood runes. I think by 99 rune crafting, I should have probably 550k, maybe 600k. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, so that that would be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take a break and do agility and some stuff now. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of Adventures of an Iron Woman episode 40. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see my future videos. Bye guys!